In this lesson, go ahead and go into Pages, open up Media. It's time to add media to the media page. I'll tell you what, get into the design view and come down here, get rid of the text in all three of the media areas, just like that. We'll leave this text. That would be where you would write in what's going on with the video. This is a photograph or a flyover of whatever, and you could type in anything you want in this area. Let's come back up here again. Click in this area right here. Go into the Insert panel and scroll down until you get into this area right here, and look at that, HTML5 video. Drag that bad boy over into this area, let go. Drag another one into this area. Scroll down, HTML5 audio, yes. Drag it over. All right, so we're getting started here. Now we need to configure these. So let's start with this one. Now I know the width is 320 and the height is 164. Same width and height as the box we created in CSS because that's the width and the height of the video. So in width, 320, and you press the tab key, 164. All right, just like that. Now let's go ahead and click on this one. Do the same thing. Now on this one, we don't change width and height, okay? That's not what this one does. It's just a button we click to do an audio. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's come back up to this one again. And let's go into our files over here and make sure that we have media open. Now if you'll notice, we have a source option right here. The source option is the media. So if I use my pointer, I just love doing it that way, and drag up, I'm going to start with flyover 1 MP4. And there it is. Now you'll notice that we have an alternate source. Now that's important to understand. What if the computer that's running what you're doing, the other side, somebody clicks and says, hey, I want to watch this video. What if it doesn't support that particular format? You can have two more alternate sources. Now I have one, MOV. So if I get here and click and drag up here, fly over one MOV. If they can't run this one, it'll run that one automatically. You have another one you can do, and even creating an SWF flash fallback if you want to do that. It's up to you. Let's do the same thing down here. This would be, for the source, the main source, flyover 2, MP4. Alternate source, flyover 2, MOV. Now, on the controls, you can show them. You can do a loop, auto-play it, or mute it. Now, what I'd like to do is do an auto on preload. And that's going to help it play, actually, when we play around with this and actually do it. Okay, so we've got those two set up. Let's come down to this one. That's the audio. Now, the main source is going to be M4A, but not everybody can run an M4A. So our alternate source is going to be an AIFF. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and go into Live View and see what we have. And we can start with this one. Now, I did take the audio off of these so we're not distracted. And these are actually done with one of those quadcopters that have the cameras mounted. Looks pretty impressive. We can come down to this one. Same thing. Now, I will admit that the quadcopter that's doing these is probably worth a half a million dollars. It's a Hollywood kind of device. But it does an excellent job. That's just absolutely beautiful. Now, you know what? I would like to hear the sound of a foghorn. Now, this is the foghorn at the lighthouse at the Golden Gate Bridge. All right. Now, if you want to take these to full screen, you can click right here. If there were audio, you could mute it right here. They have the controls. Most people know how to use them. We've created a media page with two videos with alternate sources and one audio with an alternate source. Now, we do have one more thing. Go back into design. Go ahead and click on the first one up here. There is something called a poster. Now, what is that? A poster is what appears in this area before it plays, and right now it's nothing but black. Now I do have, over here, a flyover poster. So if I use my pointer again, love that thing, come up here, 
and let's do the same thing to this one. And if we go back into Live View, you can now see it says Lighthouse Flyover. Now you can make that any size that you want. You can make it fit the original area, 320 by 164. You could put a photograph in there. You could do anything you want. So instead of them seeing something just like a black area, they can see Lighthouse Flyover. And once you click, that will go away and they'll see the flyover. Let's go ahead and go up here and click and save what we have.